Let's go ahead and unbox them though. Just give y'all my live reaction. I'm not seeing these in person like I had, so boom. The Jordan 3 Black Cements. I can already smell the leather. Amen. Say man, it's from on to real in the cut on the mic. And today we're gonna be doing a review. I just got the Jordan 3 Black Cement 3 Jordan Black Cement 3s in hand. I just got them straight out of UPS, just dropped it off. So hey, we about to unbox these live. So yeah, give y'all my give y'all my first uh, like initial reaction to this shoe. I've not seen this shoe in person. I've been to no sneaker stores. I haven't seen no early pairs. I've seen like you know, obviously on Instagram my feed will, will pop up in here and there. I know a lot of YouTubers probably have done well not too many, but I know a lot of people's gotten their shock drop pair. But I'm gonna try to get this video out. So yeah, let's get into it. Drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell, and skip right into this video slash review. So yeah, honestly, I'm still trying to. I'm still on like the. You know like i'm still on the like fence about if i want to buy a pair for me i do obviously want a personal pair but i just know they're gonna be like the reimagined fours honestly i feel, I feel like the reimagined fours are like a less of a brick than these i feel like they're gonna make more of these than the reimagined fours but anyways that's besides the topic we got the box looks like someone did some peeking in my box because what the heck we got this they did some peeking they're like oh oh shoot just a, just a brick black cement three but no i'm just playing but anyways yeah market was pretty decent on these whenever they shock drop but they have plummeted I think I got it. I went for my personal size on this pair, but I ended up not getting in my personal size. I was 12 and a half and ended up just being able to hit on 11 and a half. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this. All right, but yeah, hopefully the lighting's better than my last video. I did a video talking about the shock drop and it was like really bad lighting, but hopefully the lighting's a little bit better. I don't have my ring light right now, but yeah, hey, that's besides the topic. Let's get this I'm trying to get this box open. All right, well, I'm trying to get this box open. This is one of those hard sneakers boxes where it just doesn't open up satisfyingly. Oh, I, I really don't want to ruin this box. Damn, hold on. All right, well, hopefully I didn't ruin this box, but if I ever sell a shoe, I could just ship it out in this box. But yes, sir, we got it open. Boom, I already see the box. I'm pretty aware of what the box looks like. Yep, nothing left in the box. I'm gonna throw the box over there. And then boom, we got the Jordan 3 Black Cement. Perfect box, crisp box. So I'm about to get this uh, listed up on my eBay listing. I got an 11 half, as y'all can see. Clean box, this, you know, Jumpman. Looks similar to most like Jordan 4 boxes, Jordan 3. I was just looking at the reimagined 4 box because I just listed up. I doubled up on the reimagined fours. I have two 12 and a half, but I personalized one. Honestly, regret not selling that pair while they're at like 330, but they're still pretty high on a 12 and a half. But anyways, got like the elephant print right there on the sides of the box, Nike Air on the side. Let's go ahead and unbox these because yeah, I'm ready. So drop a like, drop us up in the notification bell and let's go ahead and unbox them. Boom, okay, it comes with this little card thing, little Jordan thing. I don't know, I don't know what this is. Okay, just pretty much, I don't know, really cool little thing, pretty much like says like how it's, built the shoe i don't really know but yeah came with that then the uh wrapping paper is like an elephant print i don't know if y'all can see pretty clean let's go ahead and unbox them though Just give y'all my live reaction i've not seen these in person like i had so boom the jordan 3 black cements i can already smell the leather um you know just from opening up these but yeah boom look at these these are freaking clean hold on let me see if i can get the lighting on this one all right well hopefully the lighting looks good yeah, I think it looks pretty decent, but yeah, look at these, boom. The elephant print, people were complaining, but some people actually like the elephant print better. Honestly, I like the OG 2018 elephant print better, but honestly, in hand, these are really clean, definitely a clean personal, and honestly, these would do really good, but they're gonna be produced so many, like on the resale market, they're, they would do really good, but they're gonna produce so many of these this Saturday, they come out on the 23rd. But yeah, boom, that Nike Air on the back, I'm gonna get the other pair out here soon. Nike hang tag, like most good Jordans come with this little Nike hang tag, it was like, stuck there but yeah boom these are super clean the nice i think this is called tumble leather i could be wrong correct me in the comments if i'm wrong has an elephant print on like this is like very subtle pair pretty much like an all black leather pair with like the subtle like hints of the elephant print on the back heel part and then on the front so yeah a lot of people um skipped a lot of the, uh, like jordan threes that came out they came out this like green pair that looked very similar to these but these are just an like iconic colorway that everyone loves honestly like every sneakerhead loves this pair really well, you know, most, let's just say that. But yeah, back has that Nike Air. That's really what makes the shoe, the Nike Air on the back. Definitely a fire personal. Let me get out the other shoe real quick. Let me take a smell. How these smokes, I already know it's gonna smell really good. <sighs> yeah, it smells like a Nike factory. Definitely clean, but yeah, let me get out the other pair real quick. Okay, boom, getting out the other pair. Boom, we got both pairs out. The other pair looking nice, looking looking clean. If you were 11 and a half, honestly, if these aren't already sold, and honestly, this Saturday, if you just want to wait, these are actually going to be pretty easy to get. I feel like if you go to like a, put in a little bit of footwork, these are going to be pretty easy to get. But yeah, go check out my video talking about kind of how to cop these. But I might, you might throw in a little sauce in this video too. It's pretty easy, honestly. Sneakers, they're going to be dropping a lot of pairs. But yeah, look at the bottom, the iconic Jordan 3 bottom, really clean. Has a, this, you know, just iconic, if you know, you know. Has all the stars, clean. There's a brand new pair of threes. Definitely a fire pair. Has that little, you know, black. Um, looks like, I don't know what 
material that is but this has like that black you know separating the you know the sole from the top then it comes in that white so it goes from like black to white right there and then it has that cool elephant print that honestly people like i said were complaining about the elephant print but i think a lot of people actually like the new elephant print better than the og one i might pop up on the screen like the og pair if you, you guys have probably seen them though if you watch this if you're watching this video but yeah the tongue really nice size 11 and a half like i already said the tongue really clean this has like gray this is the gray and the black hits with that elephant print this this is an iconic shoe right here i used to really want these and i'm glad to see these in hand and you know see them but yeah I might, i'm probably gonna have to get these for the toe but unfortunately these are not my size but it's okay though because honestly i need to uh i'm probably gonna wait until they like drop a lot in price and then buy them but yeah anyways but you can't go wrong with getting a pair for retail but if they go under retail then hey i might just snag me up a pair but i feel like they're gonna be near retail or i don't think they're gonna go under retail maybe in some sizes but they're just gonna be at retail or like a little bit above but yeah this really clean has that good material right there this is the nice leather this, which smells really good i think that's what makes this shoe really smell good then it has that little like air holes right there the gray just a clean pair it has those little red like lace things that makes it just look fire it's like the black and the red these are just so similar to the bread like the bread fours which i already have so that just makes me a little bit on the fence on if i want to like personalize this pair but yeah just a fire pair that you can wear on the daily definitely going to be a good you know this, this, this is going to be like a hot pair that everyone's going to want for christmas type stuff coming up and the insole feels pretty uh comfortable it feels pretty comfortable not gonna lie i haven't had a pair of threes in a minute so like since i was younger so yeah this is definitely a pair though that i might have to pick up i, I picked up the alma threes which these are better than the alma threes in my opinion definitely just because the colorways is way better like you know all my threes are pretty much this but i think the leather might be a little bit better on all my threes i'm not gonna lie but the right here like you know you can't beat like the elephant print just this iconic shoe right here and i'm glad that they're bringing them back but they are bringing them back in some hefty stock hefty stock like bringing back like half a million bunch of pairs so hey if you want these for the personal you should be able to grab them but i do like shoes when they're a little bit more limited i cannot lie but these are just super dope let me smell them again yeah it smells like a nike outlet i'm not gonna lie but yeah super fire pair drop a like and drop a comment if you're picking these up for the personal i think these are definitely a must cop if you you know have the bread to buy them this definitely nice the tongue feels good like i already said definitely feels like a good everyday wear shoe i'm gonna get these posted up take some pictures of these for my instagram and yeah i just want to do a little review for the channel so if you're this far on this video drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell all that good stuff let me see if there's any more details i'm gonna get back with y'all Okay, bet if you made it this far in this video, I appreciate you. But yeah, hit, peep the back tab, how the Nike Air hits. Definitely a fire pair, just how the Nike Air hits. Nike Air is such an iconic thing. No lie, just, just so iconic, not gonna lie. So yeah, if you, yeah, like I said, if you have the bread to buy this pair, I would say this is a must cop. These are gonna look fire with some black jeans, like some, you know, some nice black jeans and, you know, a clean t-shirt, no, no lie. Probably, honestly, black t-shirt or a white t-shirt, black jeans, these would look fire. Honestly, Jordan 3s, you could still, you could wear them with shorts, but, jays just always look better with pants not gonna lie like the jordan 4 bread reimagines these are just very similar like you know you could style like the same things with the bread reimagines that you can style with these because these are kind of like a predominantly like that light gray which is nice like that cement color which is why they're called the black cement threes kind of like the breads the black red you know literally just you know the black cement they're literally just black and then that cement elephant print which is clean the cement honestly the elephant print's actually pretty nice in this pair i know it's like more spacier I feel like it's probably cleaner than the OG one, but this is a reimagined, I think. I don't think it was a re I think it was a remastered, but or reimagined. I, I don't know. I think they're reimagined, not gonna lie. You're gonna have to correct me in the comments. I think they're reimagined, but they're pretty much the same shoe, just like try, done pretty much a little bit better, I think. So yeah, leather wise, definitely clean. I think people are saying like the OG ones have better leather quality, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen like OG one in hand like recently and really at all, honestly. I'm like you don't really see uh, blacksmith threes at like events and stuff because it's just like an older shoe so yeah honestly i don't i think the the market on these right now though an 11 and a half my cat just passed by 11 and a half this is the size i got it's actually holding up it's still at 260 which it was at 300 before like when they shock dropped but it's all good they didn't go down too much so hey like i said if you wear 11 and a half and want this pair for a steal then you can hit me up on instagram honestly it's not gonna be a steel steal but you know it's gonna be better than stock x after feet for sure for sure i'm beating stock x for sure but anyways definitely a clean pair really like these a lot the insoles um, looking very similar to the bread for reimagines i feel like it's like the same and so but yeah definitely a clean pair i'd love to do an on feet review for y'all but these are not my size like i said i think that's really all the details how to talk about that air bubble very similar to you know other jordans like threes and fours those threes and fours are very similar threes and fours honestly like one of my favorite silhouettes i think threes fours and elevens and then i think my favorite silhouettes would go fours and then 
I'd say 11s, honestly, and then I'd say, or honestly, 4s, and then 1s, then 11s, and then 3s. I think 3s is this definitely my top five favorite Jordan silhouette. Honestly, I think those are like the hottest ones too. I'm not going to lie. So not the, you know, I think everyone kind of knows that already because, you know, who likes the Jordan 30s, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, these are definitely clean. I really like these. It's like how they, this is so subtle. The black hits like that middle panel, and then it goes into that cement elephant print the nike air on the back just a black shoe with the nike air on the back it cannot go wrong so yeah if you made this far in this video drop a like drop a sub i'm not trying to make this video too too long so yeah i think that's all the details i had to really talk about i just love how the nike air and the hank the pool tab let me see if there's any hidden details i don't think there is the all my threes they have some hidden details that i missed during the review but i think i pretty much went over all the details on the shoe nice little air like um you know like air holes right there like i think give your you know foot some like breathing but yeah i'm not sure if they're, those are like functional but i think they are but anyways Clean the leather on this. I'm gonna give the leather quality a seven point, like an eight out of ten quality. Like leather's pretty good. Smells good. Smells like a Nike outlet. I'm not gonna lie. Smells good. But honestly, hey, I feel like these might hit Nike outlets because they're producing so many of them uh, in like smaller sizes. But 11 and a half, I don't think you're gonna see an 11 and a half in an outlet. Not gonna lie. But yeah. Anyways, kind of got a little bit of allergy. Smell the shoe. Feel like they've been in a factory. But anyways. Drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell. I think that's really all the details I to talk about. These are super fire, super clean. Probably can get the thumbnail here in a minute. And yeah, I think that's really all I had to go over. So yeah, like I already said, y'all know what to do down below and peace.